What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another j -How Tech Tip, where we're going to talk about audio ducking or what some people would call side chaining. Now, you're wondering, why is this important? What does this do for me? Well, as you can see, if you look at the setup, you've got your mic and your desktop audio. A lot of times we're either listening to music or we're with friends in Discord, and sometimes they tend to drown out your volume. Audio ducking is simply adjusting for the volume of your voice relative to the other things that are coming through through the desktop audio. When you talk, their volume goes down, and when you're done talking, it'll go back to normal. And this allows you to come through clear to your audience, and that way you don't have to go through the painful balancing process of trying to adjust every single one. At that point, you can just adjust your desktop audio for its max peak, and then everything from that is going to be, whenever you talk, it's going to auto balance them and make your life a lot easier. So this is a pretty easy process. You're just adding a compressor essentially to your desktop audio. You do that by going, clicking on the wheel and going to filters. Once you go to filters, you're going to add a compressor. Now, for the sake of clarity, you might wanna just name this ducking so that you know when you come back exactly what it's used for. As with every audio setting or video setting, a lot of these are gonna be pretty customized to what your setup is, but we're gonna go over some of the basics so you can understand each one and what the variables might mean for your stream. So first things first, the obvious, the ratio is how much it's gonna be reduced by, whether it's a 10 to one or 20 to one, it's essentially reducing it by about 10% or more. You're going to want to adjust this to your setting. I'd say 10 is a little low. So what we're going to do is we're gonna drop this down to about five to one, all of these are pretty much customized to what you feel comfortable with, but I'd say 10 might be a little high. So we'll drop this to five for now. For your threshold, this is really relative to your microphone. Negative 18 decibels is a little bit high for most people. A good way to know is to just look at your microphone when you're talking. You can see I'm peaking right around negative 20 to negative 15 with my current setup. So if I do negative 18, then the time this kicks in is gonna be pretty low. You wanna adjust this so that when you do start talking, it's going to have an impact. So lowering this to somewhere around 30, maybe 35 or lower, you're gonna see that that would hit somewhere right around here so that when I'm talking, you can actually see this going through instead of waiting. Depending on your microphone settings, you might go even lower so that it has that instant impact that the minute you start talking, it doesn't take a whole lot of audio to make sure and go through. If you have a sensitive microphone or one standing on your desk, you might adjust this to a higher level. It's gonna be dependent on your setup and your settings and what you're bleeding through through your microphone to start to pick up for this to kick off. As far as your attack and release go, this is basically how fast it goes. If you start talking and it's really fast, it might be a little unsettling and very noticeable, but if you want a really smooth transition to make sure that when you start talking, there's a gradual release as opposed to a very fast attack, then you're gonna want to up this. Six milliseconds, very fast. You could drop this to say maybe 40 milliseconds, somewhere in there. So it's not so just instant when it goes. As far as the release, same thing, to, for it to s start to come back, to give you that smooth transition of audio, you're gonna wanna drop this by quite a bit. Anywhere between 300 plus to 400 to 500 is gonna be more than okay. You can add this so that when you start attacking, you've got that nice smooth transition to where it's quick enough, but it's not jarring. And when it starts to come back, it's a nice smooth transition. So if you're listening to music, you're gonna get that nice sweet transition of audio back to where instead of it just going instantly comes back and instantly goes away. It's a nice setting and you can play around with this to figure out what you like as well. As far as the output gain, you don't have to adjust anything there. You can leave that. But the last most important thing is to make sure that in your side chain ducking source, this is, hey, what am I looking for to see if I'm chaining this so I can adjust accordingly? Well, that of course is your microphone. So you want to make sure that you have your microphone selected here so that when you are talking, it knows that this is what it's basing it off of and it makes it nice and easy. So these are the settings that you can use, the ratio, the threshold, all of these things you can adjust to your liking, but these are some of the kind of common settings that you're gonna see around these levels so that you can adjust and give you a baseline to start to tweak from here. So that's gonna do it for this video on audio ducking or side chaining, depending on how you wanna go, but this will allow you to balance things a lot easier. You can then just adjust your desktop audio, make sure that you have everything around that so that when you talk, you are the primary person that everybody is going to hear and everybody else is gonna be sent at a lower level or your music to make sure that you have a nice fluid stream 
to make sure everything runs well. It's got that professional feel to it. So if you like the video, feel free to hit that like button or leave a comment below letting me know if this worked for you or if you have any questions or if you're looking for any future content that you might have ideas for. If you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button as that goes a long way to help the channel and its continued growth. So thank you so much for your support. Till next time.